Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In the normal process of modeling, we normally would come into a project like this. And if we wanted to change, say this angle here of this shape, we would go into our tree view. In this case, I'm using a part design workflow and find the feature like this pad one, come in and then double click on the sketch. Now the underlying feature has disappeared. If we look back at that model, we can see the last fillet is disappeared. And what we'd normally do is come back in, click on that last fillet, press the space bar and adjust and then come up to edit and refresh. Or use the task and the refresh button here. Wouldn't it be a lot easier if we could say come into the sketch and double click on it and see that underlying operation still visible. So that last operation is still visible there. And also change the position of say this line and have it auto update. Now this won't be for everybody, but there are preferences in FreeCAD to allow us to do this. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing those with you with a hope to make your modeling that little bit more easier. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash paypal me forward slash Darren B E Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. So going back to our model, I'm not going to be showing you how to make this model. We can make a simple model in there. I'm just going to show you the settings that I use to allow us to achieve this type of modeling. So I'm using the part design and I've got a number of operations in here, pads, pockets, fillets, chamfers, etc. Each operation underneath has a sketch that I can edit and change and have this auto update and also see the underlying object underneath. My section view still works. I come up to the section view here. We section view through that object as normal. So if I come up to the edit and preferences, on the left hand side, we have the individual workbenches. Now, because I've opened the sketcher, the sketcher will be at the bottom. If you don't see it, then just go into the sketcher workbench and then go into the preferences and we'll see the sketcher there. If I click on that, we see a number of tabs. We want this display tab. If I click on the display, what you'll see is that down here, we've got the visibility automation. When we come in, these will all be selected. So these top three will be selected and you can experiment with these to see which fit fits you. There is some confusion around these settings. I found if I uncheck these three, then this allows for the scenario that I want. So if I just apply these for the time being and hit OK, if I double click this sketch, you can see that the feature has disappeared. So this feature here has disappeared and the pad has been shown. Edit preferences. And you can see these are the default preferences there. Now, one thing to note is this one here as well, because you can set these preferences up at different stages and it will be applied to any new sketch that's been created. So you need to use this button to hit apply to existing sketches that will update all the existing sketches in FreeCAD to these new settings. So at the moment, if I hit OK, and that's close out of this, and I look at my sketches and look down the bottom, we're on the View tab. You can see we've got the visibility automation here as well. And these are read only. So you can see those there. So if you've got a sketch that is not behaving as suspected, then come down to here and look at these visibility automations. Edit preferences at the moment. I've got all these set as default. I've applied to existing sketches and I'll hit okay. So when I come into a sketch, the last operation is always hidden. 
And this is the operation just here that is created by this sketch. So that one will be hidden. So what you're seeing is a sketch being placed on top of its parent operation. So if you look at the data and you see the support is pad one, face six. So this one here, face that pad. Last fillet is visible. Very last operation, the tip, you can see the tip there. If you come up to edit and preferences, and so this hide all objects that depend on the sketch. If I uncheck that, I find that it doesn't leave the last operation visible. But if I uncheck all the others, I'm just gonna leave this one here, the restore camera position after editing. Then if I hit apply to existing sketches and then hit okay. When I double click on the sketch, you can see the operations still stay visible and I can move this. So if I move this point over, everything refreshes and it's absolutely fine. Now, what will happen when you move this over, it won't refresh until another setting is set. And that's the setting here. So this solver message has got this little refresh here, which you can use to refresh rather than come up to edit and refresh, which is grayed out at the moment. So you can see that one there. But if we drop this down, there's this auto update, which I have checked. So this stays checked the minute we come in and check the box. I've got it unchecked now. And if I move this, like so, you can see it hasn't updated. The minute I hit refresh, it does update. But if I used the drop down and checked that, that is now set for the duration until we uncheck that. So I can now move this and it'll update. I hit close and come in to say another operation. Let's go for this one here and change the dimension. Let's change that to 15 and hit enter. This will auto update as well. There are other settings. So if I come up to the edit and preferences, there is this one as well, open sketch in section view. So if we apply that to existing sketches and okay that, if I double click on that operation now, I am automatically in section view. So you can see that this part has been sectioned through. And if I use the section view, you can see that all the sketches, if I come into them, go for this one. We've got that section view kicking in. You can see as I come around to this side, we can see it being section viewed. So that's it. So those are a few settings in the sketcher that make life a little bit easier. Obviously not for everybody, but it's worth entering into those to get an understanding of what's available in FreeCAD. Hope you enjoyed that and I hope to see you in the next video. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash paypal me forward slash Darren B E Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos. And I hope to see you again in the next one.